What if I tell you that you can slow down pretty much any video clip regardless what frame rate it had been recorded in originally? How this is done in Final Cut Pro 10, that's what we look at in today's video. Hi and welcome back to the Underwater Filmmaking School and thank you very much for tuning in again. We all know how great it is to have a clip recorded at a higher frame rate, for example 60 frames per second and then being able to actually slow that clip down in post-production and just get a more cinematic look out of that piece of uh, footage that we're using. Now, what if you have a clip that you would like to actually do that but unfortunately the clip has been recorded in a regular speed, 24 frames per second for example. Well, there is actually a way how you can use slow motion even with a clip that has been recorded at a normal speed of let's say 24 frames per second. Let's jump right into Final Cut and I'll show you how this is done. All right, and here we are in Final Cut Pro 10 and I've got a new project open for you guys with three clips that I would like to put some slow motion onto them. Now, um, I'm working in a 24p timeline and all these clips, there is a, a turtle here swimming past, there is a jellyfish close to the surface and there is a stingray feeding on the sand and all these clips are 24 frames per second are filmed in that um, setting, this one as well, and the last one here too. So we want to now make them um, slow motion by extending the duration um, by um, 100%. So we want to slow them down um, to 50% of their um, regular speed. Now there's two steps that we need to do to um, get a good result out of these clips when we put slow motion on them uh, because they were not um, filmed in um, a higher frame rate. But the first step is the same nevertheless. So you want to make sure to um, go to this little um, watch or whatever that symbol is, um, a timer here underneath the preview monitor um, and then you want to go to slow and let's make this 50%. So we're doubling the duration of the clip, making it 50% and now the computer is calculating that for us first. And once we've done that, we'll actually have a look at the clip and see what the computer has calculated. All right, so now this is the slowed down clip and as you can see it is obviously a bit jittery because we only have 12 frames per second now we've just stretched out those frames there's frames missing in between and therefore this is not really a clip that we can be uh, using this way so what do we want to do or how can we fix this we can fix this by going again to this little timer icon down here and um, going to video quality right at the bottom in the bottom section and it's normally ticked to normal um, we want to use the optical flow so the bottom one and once we use that one what is going to happen now is that the computer is going to generate the missing frames so we're still working with the 12 frames uh, per second that has have, have been stretched out to that but every frame in between that is missing the computer is now going through the entire clip analyzing the clip and um, creating frames in between that he's going to add there so this has happened now and if we now play back that turtle clip Look at that, you can see that the computer has added those clips or those frames in between and that it's not jittery anymore. It is not perfect. If you look at the turtle, you can see that there is some motion blur. I'll show you again. You can see that there is a bit of motion blur here in this part of the image where the turtle moves. This is probably um, the movement is a bit too much for the computer to calculate that. But I would say it's not a bad result for having a um, clip that was not shot in a high frame rate. 
and we made it um, to a slow motion clip that looks quite nice, quite cinematic, I would say. The second clip that I've got is a clip of um, a jellyfish um, kept just close to the surface, pulsating here, and I've only got a very short clip. This is only um, a couple of seconds, and I want to extend this, I want to make this longer. So same thing here, we'll make it slower, and it's just going to take a moment for the clip to um, get analyzed and get rendered to 50% um, of its original speed. And most likely the same thing is going to happen here as it happened with the turtle clip that it's going to be a bit jittery once it's rendered through. There we go. Let's have a quick look at this. Well, it's actually not too bad. There's a bit of jitter there, but not too dramatic. But let's see what we can achieve if we actually make this um, select the optical flow. And it's done. Let's have a look with the optical flow. It just looks, yeah, it just looks more flowing. It actually really does make a difference, in my opinion, if you compare it to not having the optical flow on it. And then we've got our stingray that is feeding here in the sand we also this is a motion that i want to show a bit slowed down speed wise so again we'll first of all slow it down to 50 percent so as it's been rendered through let's have a look at how this looks and you can see there is a frames missing it doesn't really look very flowing it's, it's a bit jittery again so let's put the optical flow onto this clip and see what that does by the way other editing software um, like davinci resolve and premiere pro they also um, have um, similar tools integrated into um, the software as far as I'm aware of so you can you can use the same kind of technique to get uh, good results when it comes to slowing down footage in other programs as well but because uh, I'm using Final Cut uh, Pro 10 for most of my editing um, I'm showing you this here in Final Cut Pro so let's have a look at the Stingray and this looks actually really nice. This looks like it actually was recorded in a fra in a high frame rate. Um, there's a bit of distortion here as it moves. The stingray moves fairly quickly, um, but other than that, I think it does look fairly okay. Right. One more thing before we get to an end of this video. Please keep in mind that this method is not going to work with every single clip that you try to put slow motion onto it. If you've got a clip that has a lot of movement, a lot of motion, uh, fast movement in it, it's going to be more difficult for the software to actually um, produce those frames in between and make them so that um, they're not noticeable. Um, but if you've got a clip that is fairly calm, slow, uh, there's not a lot of movement in the clip, you've got a fair good chance to get a good slow motion clip made out of it. Um, having said that, just go and try it out um, and you'll see for yourself with which clips it works and with which it doesn't. And there you go, that's how you can use slow motion even on clips that have not been recorded in higher frame rates. Hopefully this tutorial today was useful to you and you got something out of it and if that's the case please do hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future content that will be uploaded here. Thanks again for your time and I will see you in the next one.